She is one of this country's leading scholars on the death penalty, a professor at Fordham University School of Law, whose work on the constitutionality of capital punishment makes her one of the top experts on executions in the U.S. Also with me tonight, Joseph Scott Morgan. He's a certified death investigator, a professor of applied forensics at Jacksonville State University in Alabama, also friend of the show. Deborah, let me start with you. You heard Ivana just say it. It's important for us to witness this because... We are breaking new ground with this um, with this form of execution. So, with you as the expert, I'd just like to get your take um, now that we're just basically hours from it likely happening. Well, it's amazing that reporters like Ivana are going to be witnessing this because we depend so heavily on their descriptions. Uh, Holman Prison is in a very isolated area, and uh, for for decades uh, we have. Uh, really depended on the people who are mo who are closest to the inmate describing every conceivable detail. Let me ask you, Joseph, to to weigh in here. Um, this is what the Alabama officials say about the nitrogen hypoxia method of execution. Quote: the most painless and humane method of execution known to man. Is that right? And should that? assuage all the concerns of people out there who are against the death penalty as cruel and inhumane, or is there something more to it that that, that quote doesn't quite cover? Yeah, there's something more to it. Uh, show me the studies for that. Where, 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 are you, where are you gleaning that data from? Because that's important from a scientific perspective. Now, we have, we have indications, I think, you know, of what has happened in the past uh, relative to exposure to nitrogen gas, which you had mentioned earlier, that, that data, much of that data comes from places like OSHA. And there are a few veterinarians that have held forth opinions about uh, euthanasia with pigs in particular, utilizing nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is an inert gas, and this is a replacement for oxygen. So this is a forced breathing mechanism that's going to occur. The only, the only thing for him to breathe will in fact be nitrogen and it's displacing the oxygen completely. So you have to consider what might potentially happen, but this is unpredictable because it hasn't been happen it has not occurred in this. There's no framework, there's no template for this. So that's what we'll all be watching here moving forward. You know, and there'll be a lot of people watching this right now, um, Deborah and, and, and Joseph, that that feel one way or the other. Some people will be thrilled that this could go wrong and could be horrible for him because I'm sure it was horrible for Elizabeth Senate when she died. There will be others who watch this saying, how is it that we do this as humans, the state sanctioned killing of, of another human? So no matter where you fall on that spectrum, it's important to know everything that's happening because we, we are doing this. Um, I hope you'll both come back. Obviously, the story is still alive and, uh, you know, there may be a very different outcome by, by Friday. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.